Hi YouTube, I'm going to be going over connecting the new Xbox One S Bluetooth controller to a Windows 10 device, which is my Alienware 17 computer, and I'm going to be connecting it to the Xbox. I'm going to see if it still connects to the old dongle that we used to use before the Bluetooth controller came out, and then I'm going to see if you can still connect this con this controller, the Bluetooth, with another one on this, in case you don't want to buy a bunch of Bluetooth controllers. That way you can still play with your friends if you're on the computer. This is my first time set up with this controller. Um, I just read the instructions and everything. It's, it's pretty simple. Just push the button like you always have. But uh, I'm going to first set it up with the computer. And it says turn on the controller first. I put the batteries it came with in it. It starts blinking. It hasn't showed up on my computer yet. Let's move that back closer. Um, I'm just going to push that button on the top. Still has the original click button. Starts blinking quick. And let's see if it'll focus a bit better. Wireless Xbox controller. Let's pair it. I am connected to the internet on my computer, so I don't know if it's getting the software off the controller or the internet itself. Normally it uses the internet, but you never know nowadays. And uh, it says it's connected. And the light's on. I'll tell you guys if it goes off. I'm going to keep it on the screen. Um, I have two games that I know. Let's make sure the thing even works first. I got Minecraft on here. We'll try Minecraft. Everybody plays Minecraft, I guess, so that'll be a good, good test. I'm just going to see if it moves anything on the menu. That way I don't have like a 15 minute video. If it moves stuff on the menu, of course it's going to move stuff in the game. And this is really slow loading up. If it has an update. Okay. Yeah. Works perfect. Um, I'll, I'll put in the description how... Uh, I don't even think you can see it because it's too dark. Too bright. But it is moving. I'll do the distance, see how far it goes. Probably goes really far because the 360 used to be Bluetooth and it was, it was stinking awesome. Then they come out with an Xbox One and they do away with Bluetooth. Awesome. Technology moving backwards. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do two controllers. One's Bluetooth. And this one's going to use the old dongle thing, because this one's not Bluetooth. And uh, see if both work on the computer at the same time. Even though... One's not. I think this one's already synced. Normally you have a little little white light that comes on. And I think it just turned on my Xbox. So you just press the little button that's on the side of this. And one on the side of this. And it doesn't work because it's a Microsoft thing. I put it in a different USB port. Let's put it in this one. I have 2.0 and 3.0 ports. I guess it's I guess it's picky. I don't know. Okay, that thing's blinking. There we go. That one's blinking. And they normally pair together. Well, it's pairing to something. Let's try it anyways. Maybe it's not. Okay. It's just installing it, I guess. I guess I haven't been using it lately. I normally use a Steam controller. Oh, I'm nothing against any of the controllers. But, uh, I got a Gang Beast. I don't know if anybody plays that, but it is a great game. And it's a quick way to know if two controllers can play or not. Okay, now they're both synced, or the, the light wouldn't stay on. Um, they have an online Gang Beast on the PC, if anybody didn't know, but under construction first controller makes that guy pop up okay they both work on the green i can flip through it so they both work together which is very very good and this one goes through bluetooth and this one is going through the adapter which hopefully i can get rid of that because i only play by myself i run this through the tv but still i don't have friends over i'll just turn on the xbox now I'm going to see if this compare. I have the original Xbox. It was the Xbox One Assassin's Creed Unity bundle, which was one of the, it was still the first model. It was just a sleeve that went over the box. 
and uh, we'll see if it still syncs up pretty easy. Okay, I did run into a problem coming over to my Xbox One. Turning on my Xbox One, I haven't synced it yet, but this, if your computer's on, it already is synced to your Bluetooth on your computer, and it wants to run your computer. There's no one and two button on this to switch from the Xbox to the PC yet, so uh, I don't know if that's a problem yet, but we'll know once I turn on the Xbox. The, well, the Xbox is already on. Um, it's in a confined area, but it gets plenty of air. I have 120 millimeter fan that's in there. But we are going to press the sync button on this. Turn this on first. Turn that on. Make it start syncing. And then I have the button on the side. Some of the slim, I guess, is different. But it'll start blinking my light down there. And then USA down there, if you guys can see that. See if it syncs with my Xbox. And I think they just did. I also have what most people would want. That one goes dim. And then that one's there. A lot of people would like this. And my controller needs an update. <laughs> That is live for you folks. See if I can go back and forth with the controller. And it goes back and forth. Let's uh, let's see how big the update is. Just in case somebody's looking to buy one of these. Maybe it'll be a, a big update. I have a 15 megabyte download. So let's see how long it takes. I'm not even plugging it in. It's, I guess it's just sending it straight to it. Um, I'm still running the original controllers. So uh, this little port on the bottom. Is not new to me. Because I had a 360. But. It's a, it's a different controller. feels different because I have a different one. It's blinking at me now. <clears throat> okay, the update took three minutes. Not too bad. The whole time it was blinking. It looked like it was off at one point, but it wasn't. Um, and uh, let's see if it still works and everything. still moves everywhere. I don't know. People are saying the um, the home button is really touchy. Um, it feels like the normal button. Like I'm, they say if you hover over it, it may go off. I I don't, I don't feel that. Use a different finger, I guess. It's hard to hold the camera and do that. I don't feel that. It actually feels more flush than my original controller. I tapped it there. Um, I tapped it once. Some people are even saying if you tap it once, it'll do twice. They may have a faulty one. Um, all the buttons feel the same except for the RB and LB button, which work also. Um, they feel really, really cheap. I don't like them at all. They don't click very far. They're really quick if you do use them. It feels like they're a quicker response, but not long-lasting. Um, I, I did check, and uh, when you push this button to sync it to the Xbox, it un Bluetooths it from the computer. And uh, this will not remember the computer, but the computer will remember it. So just shut your Bluetooth off if you don't want any problems. And um, that's it. That is connecting the Xbox One S Bluetooth controller.